Until now, brokers in Uganda needed to physically be at the trading floor to deal in stocks. Now a new exchange will take those trades online. We have built a technolo technologically facilitated exchange. It's a 100% it's a uh, electronic process, uh, right from the point of order placement up to the point of payment. So we're doing this to simplify uh, the trading, uh, trading uh, experience and, uh, and to simplify the funds transfer and securities transfer experience. The Manio Uganda Security Exchange will no longer have a monopoly, meaning investors will be able to take a punt on the Ugandan stocks. Where we didn't have reach into other markets in, uh, in other countries, we now, we now do. Where investors abroad didn't have direct reach into our, our capital markets, now they will do. So it, we, we're expecting that Oltex will enable us to join the global trading environment. Oltex hopes to spread its automatic trading model out across the continent. Uganda is emerging as an attractive market with good growth prospects. The new stock exchange could make a substantial contribution by offering a much needed platform for businesses to raise funds for expansion and investment. However, the small firms who could benefit from the new investment aren't entirely convinced. These SMEs are uh, family owned and do not uh, feel very comfortable opening up because of a number of other considerations, taxation, uh, disclosure, uh, accounting standards, and all those challenges. When you look at those companies that are listed, the major bottleneck is lack of liquidity uh, at the stock exchange. Uganda's existing stock exchange has only attracted 16 listings since its launch in 1997. The hope is that the new parallel index will encourage more firms to list and more investors to buy their shares. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala.